In this lecture, we will study the question of how to find an optimal policy. That is an optimal decision making strategy if the underlying stochastic process is an MDP. To recall, a Markov decision process or MDP is a tuple of five parameters. The space of states, the starting state from this space, the space of actions, the transition probability model, which is given by a matrix P, which specifies for every state and action the distribution of the next state if that action was taken in that state. And the reward function R, which is again a matrix specifying for every state and action the expected reward if that action was taken in that state. And finally, we have to specify a goal of the MDP. And from now on, we will consider only the expected discounted reward goal. The goal is to maximize expected discounted reward, where the discount factor is some fixed number gamma between 0 and 1. The expectation here is taken over the randomized rewards, the state transitions, as well as any possible randomization in agent's actions. The question that we ask in this lecture is, how should the agent choose actions so as to maximize the total discounted reward? Note that the agent's actions not only affect the immediate rewards, but also the future states and the future rewards. So the agent needs to choose these actions strategically in order to maximize the overall sum of discounted rewards, the overall goal. This is formalized through the notion of a policy. A policy is a mapping from states to actions. Following a policy pi at, time, at some time t means that if the current state is st, then the action taken by the agent in that state at is given by pi of st. Going back to the robot control example, suppose you decide that the robot whenever is in a standing position will walk and not run. This is a policy, a very conservative policy which says that the robot should always walk from the standing position. The question we asked in this lecture is how should an agent choose actions so as to maximize the total sum of discounted rewards? Note that an agent's actions not only affects its immediate, the current rewards, but also the future states and the future rewards. So the agent needs to choose its actions strategically in order to maximize the overall sum and to attain the optimal goal. This is formalized through the notion of a policy. A policy is a mapping from states to actions. Following a policy pi at some time t means that if the current state is st, then the agent takes action at given by the policy pi in that state. Going back to the robot example, suppose you decide that the robot, whenever it's in a standing position, it will walk and not run. Now this is a policy. A more complex policy would be that the robot walks if it is more than two steps away from the target location. Otherwise, it runs. This is also a policy which is more conservative in states far away from the target and less conservative or aggressive in states closer to the target. In general, an agent can change policies over time. Maybe initially it decides that it will always walk in standing state, but later on it changes to saying that it will always run. In this case, the agent is using different policies and at different time steps. On the other hand, if the agent picks the actions at all time steps using a single policy pi, then we say that the agent is using a stationary policy. A theorem that comes in handy when dealing with MDPs is that due to a Markovian property, a discounted MDP always has a stationary optimal policy. That is, there always exists a fixed policy such that taking the actions specified by that policy in all the time steps would achieve the maximum discounted total reward. The agent does not need to change policies with time. 
This insight reduces the question of finding the best sequential decision-making strategy to simply the question of finding the best stationary policy. To find the best policy, we need to be able to evaluate and compare policies. To evaluate a policy, it is useful to define the value function. Value function, which we write as v of pi for a policy pi, specifies for every state the value of the policy pi when starting in state s. This is defined as the expected discounted sum of rewards if the agent starts in state s and then follows the policy pi forever. Following, following policy pi, of course, means that ev at every time t, the agent takes the action specified by the policy in the current state. The state distribution and the expected rewards are given by the parameters of the MDP.